Hello, the digital do friends. I'm making this video here several times now. I'm starting to get warm and getting into the groove. It's so freaking difficult to say in 15 minutes such a lot of stuff. So I am getting right into it now. See what happens. I want to drop some bombs here because this morning a bomb in me exploded. I was filming and posting yesterday this video called Very Emotional Response to Dubravko La Pen's Push and Pull. I said it all in the last two videos, in fact, about it. I have nothing to add to that. That's just done. I stand to it and it's done. What I want to talk about in this video is this emotional thing that came up yesterday in this video where I remembered what I said years ago. You still can watch those videos where I said this almost the same words years ago about the ditch scene in yeah, Europe at least. This unjust, cocky and I want to say it now, fascist behavior of the contemporary scene. <clears throat> I talked about this uh, in depth in the last video, about the disrespect I experienced and the beyond belief insults and lots and lots of them. I did get because I dared to say also to the players on stage, why do you not just play the ditch for more than two or three tunes of your ten tunes? Why do you have to bring on stage ten more instruments? And why does it not happen anymore? I don't see it. That a player is playing at least one attempt traditional way of playing tune. I thought still two players doing it and they have my deepest respect. Ansgar Stein here from Germany, marvelous player. He played at least years ago. I don't know if he does do it now in his concerts at least one, two, three tunes traditional way and he could play it well. It really impressed me. Much more than this bit and kiss thing, but that's my problem. Michiel Teichler, I think he pronounces himself, impressed the hell out of me in the last years because he demonstrating instruments that he is selling plays at first a traditional tune on it and then switches to contemporary playing that's what i like that's what i call open heart open mind respect for the source for the uh, origin the aboriginal way that's how it should be done these are artists real musicians in my mind Play, paying respect to the source i know for a fact people like that i also know for a fact of course because i'm doing it all the time there is no reason for a host of a festival any gathering of a kind, an event. There's no reason for them, what they said to me, nobody wants to listen to this old traditional shit. This is too serious, nobody can dance to it. That time is gone. The contemporary style, pit, uh, spit and kiss style, pop the katze, bang the cat style, that's what people want to hear not your boring old fart 
wrong. That's wrong. And that's an insult beyond belief. And what did you do, you hosts, you money people, with that attitude? You influenced the scene so freakingly bad. You cannot see people on stage anymore playing a traditional tune or having an attempt for that. But I know for a fact there are many players around not the famous ones anymore, maybe. Those two exceptions I know, but I see no other exceptions anymore. Now let's go to Mr. Lubravko, sorry, Dubravko, sorry. One more time, one last time. He wrote me, he loves traditional playing. He admires it and the whole culture that comes with it. These are his words. Why the fuck don't you play one traditional sound then? That makes me angry. It's like I say I love a woman, this woman, but I don't give a shit, I mean, yeah. I love her, that's it. So what's next? I accuse all those festival hosts, the money people, the influencers. You are influencers. You are shaping the scene by who you invite and who you don't invite. invite. Don't be those fascists about it. I have to call you like that and I want to provoke and I want to drop bombs here. What is fascist about? If you suppress by not inviting traditional players or people who at least sometimes try to play something in the line of traditional playing. If they are not on your radar because you feel nobody wants to hear that, you are pressing down this valuable source of music, which is, I know it because I do it all the time when I play for people. They love it. They are enthusiastically. They, they are overwhelmed most of the time saying, wow, this is real power. I never heard this. This got to me, really. And so many people saying to me, I like this, I don't want to hear this spit and kiss thing. But you don't provide or promote anything else than bang the cat. And this is fascism. This is separation of who has, no, who is allowed to play in your gatherings. I don't know why this happened now to a hundred percent degree. Ten years ago there were Aboriginals invited. My teacher invited. Me never, but who cares? I say to you now a solution that came to me in this morning. It's easy, easily done. And there is no excuse. I will not let you off the hook, you money people. And for that matter, all those contemporary players, and especially the famous ones. So what is the solution? I will give you an example of my life. I am teaching people with autism. This is my main profession, as you may know. And <clears throat> I had for many years this wonderful colleague. We never were really friends 
but we respected each other deeply the profession and the way to go about it in our profession social training for people with autism and we started to become a team a trainer team and we had this gentleman agreement if one of both of us is approached by somebody who wants to who wants a trainer for people with autism we say each one of us yeah but you have to take both of us to build up new groups in another city because we are a team we know each other well we know our stuff we can do it in highest possible quality and people approaching one of us then would say yeah but it's double the price and our gentleman agreement was doesn't matter if you want one of us you have to take both of us or forget it and that worked very well golden times and that's the solution if one of you hosts realizes it's coming now on your radar again aha there are very good players playing also traditional styles and you say to them yeah go about it and there is somebody who only plays traditional style you can squeeze him in in every program those people deserve it there are good players I know many of them I taught also many of them don't close that door by just leaving them out they have deserve, deserved a chance to be heard so open yourself up you money people you hosts and now I'm addressing to you famous contemporary players just imagine you would say to the money people I will not come if you not invite at least one traditional player if you want to have me you will have to have one of those fine people too fine musicians so you can put a lot of pressure on the market and I will tell you in one year the scene will be open-hearted open-minded again there is this what mr. Dubravko calls unity back again all smiles smiles and friendly people and respect for the source again which I know for a fact people like to listen to so live up to your responsibility you players and you money people and hosts it's a shame what you have done I have to say in the last 10 years very disrespectful and wrong since I'm becoming master soon I feel the weight of responsibility to not to ask you but to demand justice let go your shitty fascism please in one year I will see how many people invite me or my teacher or somebody who has the courage and the open mind to play a traditional way also you have a responsibility 